going to beat you, and, and he did. So, you guys, are, I know you talked about it a little bit. You're still in the race. Um, how much does that motivate you and drive you guys in practice to know that you're still a, a possible shot to head to Indy? Yeah, you know, um, it, it pushes us every day, and and I think what pushes us the most is is um, you know the commitment we have to each other on the team. Um, you know, we set out in January uh, with this 2021 team with the goal of uh, you know a Big Ten championship and and what could become of that. Um, so. Uh, I think I think it's we're going to keep on doing what we've been doing and, and taking it week by week. And, you know, we had that little slump in the middle of the season. But, um, you know, I'm glad that we're able to come back and, and come together as a team and, and, and fight to, you know, get those Big Ten wins because because you guys know they come they come harder than you think. So when you get this late in the season, you do 10 wins, a good bowl game, does that kind of enter your guys' minds thinking, hey, this could be a, a special season, you know, as you hit these these milestones? Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, looking looking at it as, um, you know, we we have a chance to be a, a memorable Iowa football team because there's been some great football teams here at Iowa. And, and I think that drives us as well, especially the in-state kids, too. We, we, we'd love to be, you know, remembered as, you know, um, one of KF's, you know, best teams. So um, that's that's definitely on our, our minds as well. I know you mentioned you're not decided yet. You're going to run out for senior day, not decided fully yet. But mm -hmm. um, what is this this journey meant to you? A little under recruited, kind of had to prove yourself, and uh, what's it meant to you now? Um, you know, it's it's one stepping stone in in, in my life, um, and I'm definitely not done. And but it's it's been really rewarding for me um, because you talk about it, and you're like, yeah, um, you know people didn't expect me to be where I'm at today. And, and it's really cool to see my, my hard work kind of pay off a little bit, but um, I'm absolutely not done. And, and there's there's a long road for me ahead and, and I'm gonna keep that same you know mentality that, that I've had really my entire life, so. What goes into that decision? Um, you know, there's a lot of things, um, you know, what scouts are kind of st saying and, and what our coaches are, are telling me and stuff. So um, it, 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 towards the end of the season, you know, I'll sit down and, and talk with my parents and stuff. But um, there, there's a decent amount of stuff to go in. And it's nice that I have, you know, that, that COVID year in my back pocket. Um, so it, it just comes down to, you know, what I feel is right. And, and um, you know, my mom said, you know, your gut usually isn't isn't too wrong. So I'm just going to probably go with my gut. And, and see what happens. But Illinois is just four and six, but they they beaten Penn State, they beaten Minnesota, they beaten Nebraska, knocked off some some big name teams. Does it seem like they're a dangerous team? And you, you can't be rolling in here thinking, hey, it's senior day, we're just going to walk through this one. Yeah, absolutely. And and we take that um, you know every week as well. Um, you know, Purdue has knocked off some big teams, including us. So, um, and that's that's kind of the beauty of the Big Ten is, uh, you know, you have some you have some dogs that'll that'll fight you, um, and you know they, they might not be ranked, but you know they'll still come and, and punch you in the mouth. So you got to be ready. And we're absolutely not not slacking, and and we absolutely know the uh, magnitude of this game and and you know games to come. So uh, we definitely can't take take this week off. Feels great. It's a uh process that I've been working on for a while, but it feels awesome to be out there in front of everybody playing. What's been the process like for you going from previously tight end to now in the offensive line? I was just getting stronger and working on fundamentals. I needed to get a good base uh, fundamentals and they're starting to come along. Things are starting to click and I'm starting to stack days and I, now I'm starting to play and it feels awesome. Any advice you've gotten from some of the upperclassmen on the offensive line? So just beginner's mentality, just attack every day, hungry to get better and hungry to improve and be improvement driven. Bounce back over to the left side. Are you working at left side this week too? Yes, sir. So Mason's <laughs> back at, at practice then? Uh, you can talk to Coach Ferentz about injuries, but I'm working at left tackle, yes. What's yep. the adjustment there? Because you've been primarily at right tackle for a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad. I've played left and right here my whole career, so it's just – Getting back into the feel of things uh, at the left side and getting comfortable out there. What's up, guys? Any, what do you see from Illinois on film? Their defensive line? They're pretty good. Their experience. It'll be a good test for us. They played pretty good, and it'll be fun. Fun matchup. What's been the biggest challenge kind of getting thrown into the starting role with Mason's injury? Uh, it was just self-confidence, just knowing I can go out there and do it and believing in myself and trusting the fu fundamentals and preparation I've put in. Did you feel like all, you guys all just stuck together last week? It was just mm -hmm. the vibe and 
there's no rotations or anything. Did that help you guys? I think it helped a little bit, yeah. We were able to build chemistry as the game went on and be able to feel things out and talk on the sideline and get a get in a good groove. Yeah, right now we do, we're just focusing on us, focusing one week at a time, focus on uh, just getting the win in the week week that we're in. We're not really focused on trying to look ahead uh, and the possibilities. If if we handle our business, then then it'll, it'll take care of itself at the end of the season. What have you seen from uh, maybe Keegan and Arlen from your perspective? I know they've kind of uh, been thrust into more of a, a starring role. Uh, yeah, well, they, they've definitely stepped up. They've definitely rose to the occasion. Um, e each and every week they're making plays uh, like like that screen that Keegan had like that was, that was just an amazing play I'm, I'm on the sidelines I'm thinking they definitely got him wrapped up and the next thing I know he, he's just running down the sideline so when you when you have uh, players especially like freshmen just stepping up like that uh, I mean it's definitely encouraging definitely gives us energy and, and I mean it's exciting to see I mean Keegan Keegan's my locker mate so like just just always joking around with him and it's exciting to see him make plays They don't throw much, right? I mean, yeah, like, no, uh... no. They definitely, they definitely don't throw much. Um, sometimes it's been, it's been under ten times a game. Yeah, we're, we're definitely um, more more focused on their their run attack. Yeah, How, like when you, what are the coaches telling you about? I mean, they went to Penn State and they beat Penn State. They just beat the Minnesota team that you played. Yeah. You know, pretty convincingly. Mm -hmm. Every 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 week, uh, we're we're playing Big Ten opponents. There there's no there's no bad Big Ten opponent. Every every week, every team has players uh, that that can come out there and execute. And any team can beat you on any given day if you're not if you're not out there ready and ready to play and give it a your all. Mm -hmm. How would you say you guys are holding up physically at the defense? Uh, again, I know I asked about the snap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, that Penn State game especially. Obviously, it's it's a very physical game. Um so, I mean, some people are banged up, uh but you but you just got to push through it. Um I mean, we know we know what we signed up for. It's a physical game. You just got to give get back out there and go do it again. Uh I got an all right look at it. I kind of uh kind of whiffed on a block and I turn around and I see Keegan running with no one no one even close to him and I was like, "What what just happened?" But uh, I watched it up on the big screen. It was an awesome play. When did you guys kind of realize the kind of athlete and the kind of player he could be for this team? I think it started in the summer, uh, just watching him uh, really work really hard to get better in his own time. And then when we're in here training, lifting, uh, he was working his tail off. So I think that's when we really started to notice it. Now you running out here as a senior. Is this, is this your final home game? I'm going out. Yeah, that's the plan right now. What, what, what's it meant to you and what has what your time here meant to you? Uh, it means the world, uh, just the people, the relationships that I've created, uh, my time here, and then just being able to run out in Kinnick in front of 70,000, or what is it, eight times a year or so. It's an unbelievable feeling and it's been awesome. Has that kind of been, you know, you were kind of under-recruited, you know, kind of worked your way up, but has it kind of lived up to everything you thought it'd be playing D1 football at, at a big it, school? Even more. Uh, I never really knew what to expect uh, coming into it, and I mean, it means so much to, uh, now that I've lived it for five years. Alex got his first start. Um, how would you kind of assess the offense um, and what you guys did well, maybe didn't do well in that first game with him at the quarterback? Yeah, I think he just brings a little bit something different, uh, maybe a little bit more mobile or whatever it may be. And uh, I mean, I think the line played a decent game. I don't know if we gave up any sacks. Mm -hmm. If we could have done that for Spencer, who knows <laughs> what Spencer could have done too. I mean, but uh, he definitely just brings something different uh, to the offense. Do you like mobile quarterbacks? I mean, more, more time I mean, you saw them scramble out, roll out a lot of. They times. make Those the they you. make the line look better sometimes <laughs> too. So that's nice. When there's only was, two games left, yeah. is there still an emphasis on trying to? improve the running game and how much can it how much can it get better when you're this deep into the season uh, I mean just as much as we work on it to be honest with you uh, coming in here every day and working on it is it can get better for sure did you guys feel um, embattled in some ways that you guys had to prove yourselves the last two weeks seems like the old lines done a lot better yeah us. absolutely and we took it on our shoulders we yeah. we knew that we weren't playing to our potential and so we knew we had to play better yeah did what did you see on film? I'm sorry, Tom. Did it help? <laughs> what did you see on film uh, from this game? And uh, all just, you know, no rotation, just the five of you. It seemed like it was a little different. Yeah, I think uh, we really got in a groove together with those five guys that were in there. And uh, the communication was 
probably at an all-time high so far this year, just being on the same page and communicating with one another. Thank you.